How much water should you drink if you have kidney disease? Today, we're tackling an essential topic for those who are living with kidney disease, which is understanding how much water should you drink. In this episode, we'll dive into this important aspect of kidney disease management. Welcome back to the Kidney Zone. I'm Dr. Mo. To begin, let's understand the fundamental role of water that it plays in kidney function. The kidney filters waste and excess fluid from the blood, which are then excreted as urine. Water is very important to this process, but it's essential to find the right balance when you have kidney disease. So, why does monitoring water intake matters when you have kidney disease? Kidney disease can impact your kidney's ability to properly filter and eliminate waste and excess fluids. Drinking too much uh, or too little water can lead to complications. Many individuals with kidney disease are placed on fluid restrictions. These restrictions are set to manage the amount of fluids in the body, as excess fluid can lead to edema, which is swelling, or high blood pressure, and also strain on the heart. However, it's important to note that fluid restrictions can vary from one person to another. So your healthcare provider will determine uh, your personalized fluid intake based on the stage of the kidney disease that you have and your body's weight and other individual factors. Understanding your body's cues is really crucial in managing fluid intake. So pay attention to the symptoms like swelling, shortness of breath, and changes in urination patterns, as these can indicate whether you are retaining too much fluid. Now let's discuss how can we calculate your daily fluid allowance. Calculating your daily allowance of water intake requires a structured approach. Begin by consulting uh, your healthcare provider, particularly a nephrologist or a renal dietitian who specializes in kidney disease management. They will consider your individual factors such as your kidney function, age, sex, and body weight. And this is all to establish a precise fluid restriction. This restriction often include not just beverages, but also foods that contribute to your overall fluid intake. By working with professionals experienced in managing your kidney disease, you can ensure that your daily water intake aligns with your specific needs. Ultimately, this can promote your kidney uh, health. Also, regular follow-ups with your healthcare team. This is very essential to adjust your fluid allowance as your condition evolves over time. Remember, personalized guidance is a key to effective management. Your healthcare providers will also give you a specific number of ounces or milliliters that you're allowed to consume daily. So be sure to measure your fluid accurately. Remember that fluid intake isn't just about what you drink. It includes all sources of fluids, such as soups, ice cream, and fruits with high water content. This can contribute significantly to your daily allowance. Staying hydrated is vital, but it must be done very carefully and safely. Choosing hydrating beverages wisely is very important. Water is a great choice, but you can also enjoy herbal teas, clear broth, and avoid sugary, caffeine-rich, and high-sodium drinks. Adapting to fluid restriction can be challenging, but it's very essential. It may take time to adjust, and you might need to find new ways to quench your thirst. Stay patient and proactive in your approach. Finally, working with a registered dietitian is crucial for managing your fluid intake, and they can help you create a balanced meal plan that aligns with your fluid restrictions, ensuring that you're getting the right nutrition while managing your fluid intake. In addition to monitoring your fluid intake, salt or sodium restriction is another vital component of managing kidney disease. High sodium levels can lead to fluid retention and increased blood pressure, which can worsen your kidney function. Your healthcare provider will often recommend a reduced salt diet to help you control these risks. So be diligent in reading food labels, avoid processed and fast foods that are typically high in sodium, and consider using salt substitute or herbs and spices to flavor your meals. Working closely with a registered dietitian can provide you with guidance and meal plans that align with your sodium restrictions, which can promote your kidney health and also remember it's part uh, of a comprehensive approach to managing your kidney disease. So to conclude, Managing your water intake with kidney disease is a critical aspect of your overall care. Remember, it's individualized and working closely with your healthcare team is also a key. 
For more kidney and nutrition information, check out episode 7 of this podcast where we talk about foods that can detox and repair your kidneys. Also check episode 8 where we talk about what foods to avoid if you have kidney disease or you are on dialysis. Thank you for joining me in this episode. If you found this informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a review or rating in your favorite podcast platform for more kidney health related content. As always, take care of your health and stay hydrated. Thank you for tuning in to the Kidney Zone and we'll see you in the next episode.